my bun and now it's like cut off. <sighs> Problems of a YouTuber, guys. So I'm finally back with a video for you guys. This is going to be an update video on kind of where I've been and what's been going on kind of in my life lately. Uh, so yeah, why don't we get started on my update video for you guys. First thing is the reason I haven't been uploading. So I haven't been very active on Instagram, on YouTube, on anything very much the past few weeks and that is really because I've been very sick and I still am very sick and it's not like a flu sick it's something more serious than that we're not quite sure what it is yet or if it or when it'll be fixed we really don't know much about it all we know is that I have very strong stomach pains and very bad headaches so I have what you call chronic daily migraines so that is basically where you have a migraine every single day and it's bad if you guys have ever had a migraine you get nauseous you sometimes throw up the light really bothers you certain smells bother you um, it's just not very fun and having a migraine from time to time is already difficult so having it every single day of course takes a toll on me and my energy and stuff like that so I have been spending my entire summer the entire summer I spent in bed while I was in LA and San Francisco and Dallas and when I went to to Florida it was very hard for me because I really was not feeling well the past that entire time so it was very difficult to kind of be dragged along with my family when I really didn't want to go out. I just wanted to stay in bed because I felt so sick. So that's been very difficult, especially being 14. I want to have my summer. I want to go out with my friends, go to the beach, do stuff that kids always do during summer. And I wasn't able to. I had to stay in bed the whole time. So that was very difficult. And yeah, so we really don't know what's wrong with my stomach. Um, we're going to be doing some tests on Sunday. I've had numerous blood tests and the good thing is there's no cancer or anything like that. Um, they have found no brain tumors in my head or cancer or anything like that. I don't have something as serious as that, but it definitely is something that needs to be fixed as soon as possible because it's very difficult to live my everyday life when I am in constant pain so hopefully I'll be getting this stomach issue resolved and we will find out what it is mainly what's been very difficult about this whole process is not knowing what it is so we'll do constant tests for different diseases different things different illnesses and they just come back negative and they come back totally normal which of course is great news but it's also sometimes can be looked at as bad news because then you're like well if it's not that then what is it now I have to do more tests so I'll be doing a big medical test this coming Sunday so yes hopefully that will tell us something and then if that is positive then I have to go through a surgery and I will obviously update you guys more on that otherwise they're just gonna have to go with a scope into my stomach and try and look around and see if they can find anything I've also been having a very hard time I have a lot of anxiety I have extreme anxiety I've been having frequent panic and anxiety attacks and if you guys have ever had one you will know that it's not something fun I wouldn't wish having anxiety attacks on my worst enemy it's not fun you can't breathe you feel very frustrated you are just crying and you just can't stop and it's not something I want to experience as often as I actually have to I do have anxiety and I do have low self-esteem and not as much confidence as I wish I did but 
I want you guys to know that there is someone who can help you if you do have anxiety and low self-esteem. You can talk to your parents and if you can't talk to an older sibling, talk to a friend. Someone is always there to help you. There will be there will always be someone there to help you. If you guys want, I'm always open. You can talk to me on my Instagram or you guys can talk to me on my Twitter if you guys want or even down in the comments below and I will reply. You can even private message me on, on YouTube if that still exists. I'm not very sure. <laughs> So now that that's kind of out of the way, I have lots of exciting news for you guys. So hopefully you guys will be as excited as I am because I'm pretty dang excited. I think I should talk about two very special little things that have come into my life recently. And I'm very happy. No, I did not have twins, but here, let me show them to you. They're freaking cute. Okay, here they are. I got guinea pigs. Look how cute they are. Okay, so let's introduce you guys to them. This one is Framboise. Ooh, she's scratching me. This one is Framboise, and she is brown. And Framboise means raspberry in French, and because raspberries, are my favorite fruit of all time. I thought I would name her after that because I love her to bits. So this is little Framboise. You guys will be seeing them a whole lot more in upcoming videos and of course they have become part of my daily routine in my life so you will be seeing them in routine videos. So this one is, oops, one of them's pooping on me. Great, great, just great. Life of a guinea pig mom. So this one is Elsa and she is a cream and white color and I named her Elsa of course because of Frozen because that is one of my all time favorite Disney movies. So we have Elsa and Pomboise and I love them to bits. They are so cute and my whole family really loves them. My sister loves them. My dad, well, he likes them and my mom has fallen in love with them as well. They are little girls and if you guys want me to show you guys, gosh, I'm turning into an animal hoarder. I'm going to be one of those YouTube animal hoarders. If you guys want me to show you the cage that we DIY'd for them, then I can. I'll show it at the end of a video or something like that. Or if even you guys want a whole video, I don't know if that'd be very interesting. I'm becoming an animal hoarder. Okay, so the next really exciting thing is I've started a blog, yay! So I've been wanting to start a blog and do something and branch out and do something like this for a very long time. I finally got the courage to start a blog. So I will definitely have the link in the description box. I have already put up my first blog post and it's a DIY. So definitely go check that out. So that's really exciting and so far I have loved writing my first blog post so I hope I'll be enjoying writing next blog post just as much in the near future. Let me know as well for any video or blog post requests down below because I can always use some inspiration. So the next thing I want to talk about is something that's going to benefit you guys as well, kind of, a little bit, I don't really know is that I have left um, regular public school and I am now doing homeschooling and doing it online. So I am super excited for that because I hopefully I'm going to be having lots more time to film and upload and spend time editing my videos for you guys because I really want you guys to get the best quality videos that I can create and that I can make. So I'm really excited to start online school. Hopefully I will be starting soon, but I haven't been able to start because as you guys know, because I have been so sick and because so I haven't actually been able to start the online school because I've been so you gotta squeak. So I haven't actually been able to start the online school because I've been so ill with my stomach. So I'm actually going on medical leave for a week or two from school until I can so I can relax a little bit and not have as much anxiety over it and then I will go back up and properly start my school where I spend the whole day 
doing schoolwork, sitting at my desk. You know, I've decorated my desk really pretty, so hopefully I'll show it to you guys in a video one time. But yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to properly start that soon because I'm really excited to start and see what homeschooling has to offer. So now the last thing I want to talk about. So I have kind of opened kind of like a PO box, but not exactly. It's actually going to be going to a shipping company and the shipping company is going to send, send what you guys send to me actually to me. So I would really love if you guys could send me a letter or something like that because I would love to get to know you guys some more. I really love interacting with my subscribers and I really love seeing you guys and watching your videos and following you guys on Instagram and Twitter. So what would be even better is actually sending each other mail. So if you guys send me a letter, you guys can put a return address with it and I will most definitely write you guys back and I would love we could be like little pen pals how fun would that be so if you guys can definitely send me a letter because I would love to hear from you guys and I would love to send you a letter back and get to know you so so I really hope you guys are all right with all this new information that's been kind of thrown at you but I will see you guys soon and I love you guys so much so definitely leave a comment like this video because it really makes my day and subscribe if you haven't already and if you guys want you guys can private message me on Instagram or on Twitter and I will most definitely write you guys back. So I love you all so much. Thank you for sticking by me even though I haven't uploaded and I've been sick. But I hopefully will be uploading some more. Don't forget to follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter to see the pins I pin, the tweets I tweet, and the pictures I post. See you guys later. Bye.